Hey everybody, some gadget guy here with a quick pro tip for the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now, I like to enable the developer uh, options. It gives you things like USB debugging. And then also for Galaxy S5 owners, it gives you the tools to abbreviate some of the animations that our phones use. It doesn't actually speed up the phone, like your phone's not really gonna get faster doing this, but it's gonna feel a little snappier. So what we're gonna do to enable the developer options is in settings, we're gonna scroll down to system. And under the system category, we're gonna find about device. So we're gonna tap on this and we're gonna see all of this stuff here. This is where you also come if you wanna check if there's a software update. Um, you can see what your device name is. You can tap on that. You can change what your device name is. And sometimes depending on your Bluetooth speakerphone, that can also be a handy little tip to change what that is. So if you wanna say it's Juan's Galaxy S5 or something like that, this is where you can come in to change the name. But we're gonna come down to the build number. Now, once we find this build number, we're gonna keep tapping on it until we get a prompt saying the developer options are going to be activated. I think on the Galaxy CS5, it should be seven taps. So let's give this a try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Developer mode has been turned on. Developer mode, activate. So we're gonna come back. Okay, so we've come back into settings and we're gonna go back down into system, I believe. And there we are now in front of about device, we're gonna tap on these developer options. And we've got a bunch of little tools and tweaks that we can jump into here. If you wanna enable USB debugging, this is where you can do that. This is where we can also change that runtime system if you wanna use art instead. I'll do another video on that just to better explain what art is. You can do things like keep the screen awake while charging. I think the phone runs too hot for that, but you can do it if you wanna. Show touches, show pointer locations. There's some cool stuff to play with here, but we're gonna come down to these animation scales. Now, I don't actually like to disable the animations. Now, some people say that will speed up the device because the phone doesn't have have to work as hard to create these pretty transitions, but I actually kind of like the pretty transitions. So what I like to do is I like to cut these in half. So for each of these animation scales, instead of leaving it at 1x, we're gonna switch it to 0.5. So each of these animations and the transitions should take only about half the amount of time as they normally would. And throughout the rest of the developer options, you've got GPU options, debug options, non-rectangular clips, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> we wanna turn on some of these extra uh, OpenGL settings. Now, you just wanna be a little careful when you're messing with some of these developer options. It's not likely you'll do something insane like bricking your phone. This isn't you know, something like rooting your phone or installing a custom ROM, but you might turn on or toggle a few settings which won't <laughs> help your phone's performance. So whenever you're going in here, I, I wouldn't recommend making a bunch of changes all at the same time. So it might be hard to remember what you've changed. But now when we come back out, each of these little transitions and screen swipes when we say pull up the app drawer, they feel, in my opinion, they feel just a touch snappier, just a little bit quicker, and that does make my Galaxy S5 feel like it's, you know, it's performing a little bit faster. So folks, uh, that's the developer option trick on the Galaxy S5. If there's a, a particular tip or trick that you like to do on your Android phones to make them feel speedier or faster, uh, definitely drop me a comment below. I'm always on the lookout for fun little hacks and tweaks to make our gadgets feel snappier and more powerful. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching my videos, sharing my videos, subscribing to my channel, uh, leaving me comments, and uh, hitting that thumbs up button. It's all greatly appreciated as I'm having a blast sharing all this fun tech stuff with you guys. And I will catch you all on the next video.